If you want to give your heart and life to God in Jesus, call CBN 1-800-775-9413. It's a real prayer line if you need prayers. Um, they usually do this after sermons, after church, uh, sometimes after testimonies. Um, it says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner, so everybody makes mistakes. Um, and we commit sins against Father God and... He loved us so much that he wanted us redeemed back to him. And so he did that by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins 2,021 years ago. Even if you still, like, if you don't believe, you still write that Jesus died on the cross 2,021 years ago, A.D., after death, after Jesus' death. Um... So you have to believe. I can't save you. Nobody else can save you. Nobody else can make you say this prayer. Uh, it's only God and Jesus knocking on the door of your heart, asking you to come home. It says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins. I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. It's a Billy Graham prayer. It's at findmyhope.org. Or you can visit www.cbn.com, pray about, need your Bible. Not a Jehovah Witness thing. They don't believe that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God right now. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm just like, no, not those guys. I just had a dream that he returned and I got left behind. But praise God, according to Joel 2 verse 2, eight, it's a warning that he's that you have to tell other people too that he's returning um, and he warns you to pray to him now while there's still time uh, before he comes back so it's uh, pretty amazing that he loves us so much he's going to warn us too uh, so that we may repent and turn towards him I said the last days would be like Sodom and Gomorrah like the days of Noah um, And so, alrighty, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Don't forget to pray and read your Bible. Spend time with him. He loves you so much. Um, again, I had a dream about seven years ago. All it took was somebody sharing Jesus on Facebook. And um, you can do that too. Um, and I don't know if you need healing. This is a really healing prayer. Um. All you have to do is believe that he already took all that pain, all that sorrow, anger, grief, sickness, whatever it may be, he took that on that cross. And he's the only one that can heal you and has set you free. Amen. If you read the Gospel of John, even Nicodemus was like, we know that you can't do this unless God has sent you. Um. Even the woman at the well, God knew her, Jesus knew all kinds of things about her. And she's like, um, she thought he was just a prophet, but he, he told her um, that he was the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Um, so praise God for that, amen. Um, again, he told her things and they were like, only God could do that. Um, truly when you hand things to God too only he can make things happen only he can make way when there seems to be no way amen alrighty hopefully you guys are having a good day I'll talk to you guys later goodbye